Hello, and welcome to the Altino Library's video series on learning Windows 10. We're going to dig into some more customizations on the taskbar down here. For instance, we can get rid of or add some more things like to these icons down here. Taskbar icons are here at the beginning, Cortana and the task view. We right click on the taskbar to get the menu. We can see the check marks that are controlling those. We take the check mark out. You can see how the icon has disappeared. We do that also with Cortana. Take the check mark out and the icon disappears. It gives you a little more room down here for other programs that you might use more often than those. Right click and we go to toolbars. And you can add these toolbars onto your taskbar also. What the desktop does is it gives you a list of all your icons that you have on the desktop. Why is that useful? If you have everything covered up and you want to get to one of those icons, you just come to this desktop, click on the arrow, and instead of having to remove all the windows you have open, you can just grab here and pick one of them to open up. We can take that back off by going to the toolbars and removing the check mark from desktop. So you can play with all these things to see what kind of items they'll add to the taskbar if you want them or not, whether it'll be useful to you. It also has a show desktop, which is the equivalent of coming down here to the right corner and clicking on that little bar down there. That's hard to see, but it's there. And then you can also take these icons and move them around. For instance, these are two internet icons. This is also an internet icon. Why not put them together? You just click on it, hold that button down and drag it. And you can put it anywhere you want between any other two icons. Take your PC icon and move it over here to the right and set a new location. And one of the nice features of this taskbar with those icons also, if you have a program open and you put your mouse on that icon, it's going to show you this little preview that tells you what it looks like. It won't stay there because if you take your mouse off without clicking, it just disappears again. Now that is something that is also controlled from this context menu all the way at the bottom here is taskbar settings. We click on that. Let the settings dialog box open up and you have some controls here for those icons here or buttons as they call them. You can hide the taskbar, lock or unlock the taskbar, automatically hide it in tablet mode. So if you have one of those computers that reverses itself from a laptop into a tablet, when you're in tablet mode, you can get rid of the taskbar because that's mostly for use by a mouse, not a finger. But if you want to leave it there, you can. You can change the size of the taskbar buttons. Use a peek to preview that desktop. Got badges. You can change the location. We discussed using the mouse before, but you can come in here and just use this selector instead of the mouse by dragging it. You can add labels to it by clicking never. Now you can see what those icons mean if you need to know. I like hide them because that gives me more room on the taskbar to put more items. If you have more than one monitor, or display connected to your computer, then you can decide whether you're going to show the taskbar on all the displays or just the main one. So that's some more features of customizing your taskbar. Hope this helps you improve your experience with Windows. And thanks for watching.